Good morning. Good morning again, Jane. How are you? It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Elaine. Thought I would just get on here a minute or two early since I seem to be popping on right at about the time we're supposed to start. So anything exciting going on? Good morning, Pam. So I'm trying to work out um, a situation where we would create a private Facebook page to, um, hi Diane, hi mom, uh, to stream some group synergy classes. Um, parts of MOSA um, are allowing that to happen, so um, even though a bunch of our corporate employees have been furloughed, I'm trying to figure out how we can make that happen um, and we can maybe do some group synergy on Facebook that's a little bit longer than the 30 minutes. So um, hopefully that'll work out. So it's 10.15, let's get started. Um, welcome to Saturday Yoga. So we're going to focus on low back, hips, and uh, shoulders, and neck. Um, and then some other stuff thrown in there. So we're going to start... Um, let's start actually laying down. So just find your mat or the floor and, ooh, man, look at all those hearts. I must like that. So, um, should do that every time. I like all those hearts popping up there. Um, all right. So on your backs, oh my goodness, I'm sore. All right. So on your backs with your knees bent. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. Just place your hands on your belly. Shut your eyes. And just start to breathe. So big deep breaths, feel your belly expand up into the palms of your hands. And then pull that belly in towards your spine to let go of all of your breath. Just noticing your breath, where you notice it. Do you notice it in your belly? Do you notice it more in your chest, in your rib cage? in the back of your throat, in your nose. And just maybe put your attention right where you're noticing your breath. And try to let all those outside thoughts and distractions just fade away. As always, when your mind starts to wander away, and it will, that's totally normal. You just notice that it's happening, and then gently, calmly, bring it right back to your breath. Try to take a little deeper breath. Really expanding around your rib cage and your chest.
almost feeling your torso rise off your mat with your inhale. Let's slowly bring your arms up over your head, bending your elbows so you feel that in your shoulders and in your mid upper back and just drop your knees side to side. So just starting to warm up your low back and then noticing any other places in your body where you feel this and trying to match those movements with your breath. And when your knees get over to the right side, let's just leave them over there. Interlace your fingers and give your body just a big stretch, feeling that nice length at your left side of your waist. Relaxing your shoulders down into the mat. Big deep breath. And then slowly bringing those knees back up to center as you relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, drop your knees over, and then stretch those arms again so you feel that in your right armpit, the right rib cage, the right hip right outer thigh a little, deep breaths. One more breath. Slowly come back to center, bring your hands at your side, bring your feet a little bit closer to your upper body, lift your right foot off the mat, and slowly set it right back down. Your left foot off the mat, and right back down, and then just lift and lower one leg at a time, one foot at a time. And as you do it a couple of times, try to just lift a little bit higher each time. You're going to feel length in your glutes and your hamstrings. And then if you want, you can start to bring that knee into your chest and set it back down. Knee on the other side in and set that foot back down. So just giving yourself a little bit of a hug. And then if you want, you can bring the knee in and just raise your upper body up a little bit to try to meet that knee. So maybe your nose to your knee. Giving yourself a little crunch there. But lower the knee or lower the foot, lower the head, all the way back down, nice and slow. Just warming up that back. Warming up those core muscles. All right, one more time on each side. When you get done with that, both feet on the mat, a little bit closer to your upper body, 
Hands are going to be at your side, palms down. So the reverse of what we just did is lifting your hips up in the air and then lowering them right back down. So let's inhale as you lift up and exhale as you lower down. And as always, just moving on your own breath, squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings and stretching out those hip flexors and your quadriceps a little bit as you press up. One more time. And then let's slowly just kind of rock side to side to get your shoulder blades out from under you. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then bring your knees back up over your hips and just extend one leg straight and then bend it other leg straight and bend. So you can hold behind your hamstrings like I'm doing or let your hands go out to the side. You can point your toes, you can flex your toes or flex your feet. Whatever feels good. And you can go one leg at a time or both legs at the same time. Can decide what you'd like to do. Actually your arms could go up overhead to get that nice shoulder stretch, a little core work. So you're just warming up those knee joints. You might hear some pops and cracks. You inhale as you extend and you exhale as you bend. One more time. And then let's pull those knees in and give yourself that hug again. So you're slowly going to let your knees fall to the right. Just look up for now, your arms out to the side. Just a nice gentle twist. To make this even gentler, you just increase that angle from your knees to your hips and your hips to your head. Breathe. Bring those knees up through center and drop them to the opposite side. Gentle twist, so nothing too difficult. If you can't take that full, complete breath, you know you've just gone a little bit too far. more breath. Come on back to center. Give yourself that hug again. We'll cross at your ankles. Rock a couple of times so you can come up to seated. Nice and gently. And then just find something to sit on if you want. Or just sit on the mat. So once you get to your comfortable seated position, Legs cross, legs straight out, whatever feels good for you. Just breathe. So palms up, eyes shut. Just a gentle reminder that if you're doing this class in the evening when the sun is down, your palms would be down. Just inhale deeply. 
exhale completely. Again, now notice where your breath, where you feel your breath, where you notice your breath. Is it the same place when we were laying down? Or is it a different place when you're seated? And then let's just start to tip your head to one side or the other. Your palms can go down on your thighs now. And now your focus just goes to that neck on each side. Just noticing how you feel feeling free to do whatever you'd like. If you feel any twinges, feel free to adjust. We're just going to tip your chin down towards your chest and roll your head around in that little half circle and back around to the other direction. So everybody has their own ways of doing things, their own preferences. My preference is to not make a full circle with your neck, but if that feels comfortable for you and you'd rather do that, feel free. I just feel like it's a little bit safer just to go a little half circle, maybe a little deeper than that. your head gets over to the right. Let's just hang out there. So I'm just adjusting my legs just because my knees don't feel very good this morning. Bring your hand, your right hand, onto your head to deepen that stretch. Big deep breaths. Let's bring that right hand down right next to your hip and then take it back maybe about a foot, maybe 18 inches. And while your left shoulder comes back a little bit, I just want you to turn your head and try to look back at those fingers. They might be kind of hidden underneath your right shoulder, but just try to get that left side of your neck stretched. You should try to sit up tall. Just look back kind of on a diagonal. And then back to center nice and slow. A couple of big shoulder rolls up, back, and down. And then same thing on the other side. Let's tip your head over to the left. still shut. Left hand on your head if that feels good. Just 
just don't force anything today. Just let breath and gravity do all the work or most of the work. And then that left hand goes down at your side and then take it back about 12, 18 inches and then just tip your head down. Try to look back where those fingers are. My fingers are completely hidden by my left shoulder, but I know where they are. So I'm just trying to look right at my left shoulder. Taking my right shoulder back to really open up your chest. Sitting up tall, pushing your hips down, extending up. And breathing. One more breath. Coming back to center, a couple big shoulder rolls up, back and down. And let's grab your strap or a towel, um, a tie, whatever you were, uh, whatever you're using to do some shoulder stuff. Um, so I'm glad I can't see your faces for this because everybody has a nice grimaces on their face. So uh, we're going to try not to grimace, and you're going to try to adjust this strap to make sure that you're not grimacing. So just at about shoulder width apart, maybe just a tad bit wider to start. You're gonna inhale up till you feel just a little bit of a pull. So make sure that you're applying some pressure, trying to stretch that band or towel apart, keeping that pressure there, and then just exhale back down. You're gonna inhale back up, raising those arms up, and exhale back down. Let's do that two or three more times. Inhaling up, lengthening your spine. Exhaling back down. And one more time. And then if that just feels good for you and you wanna keep doing that, feel free. The next step is to take your hands a little wider and then to inhale up and exhale as you let the, those arms go back. So no bending of the elbows. If you have to bend, that means that you just need to take your hands wider on your strap or your towel. You always inhale up and exhale and lower. Constantly pulling that strap or towel away from the midline. So always keeping pressure Just working out your shoulders, and if this causes you pain, you are not doing it. We're gonna go one more time. When you get back behind you, you're gonna come up about halfway maybe yeah about halfway and just hold it there and look up really really reaching to the right and to the left and looking up breathing feeling your bicep stretch as you take your palms and try to turn your arms so that your palms are facing up and breathe if it doesn't feel good for your neck, you can release your chin back down towards your chest, maybe looking at your lap. And then let's just release that down, letting go of your strap. So just kind of shake out your arms, maybe a couple of shoulder rolls. All right, let us bring your left arm up and lean over. Inhale back to center, your right arm up, and lean over. And then just side to side on your own breath. Again, your legs are still crossed. <clears throat> My legs are just straight out because 
done a couple extra workouts this week and my knees just don't like me this morning. So pushing that opposite hip down as you reach. One more time on each side. All right. If you are sitting on a block, let's take it away. Let's take your left knee and bend it, your right knee and bend it, both at 90 degrees. And then we're gonna sit up nice and tall and you're just gonna fold forward over that front leg so getting our hips stretched so as tall as you can be with your spine and then just walk your arms and upper body forward so you should feel a really nice stretch in that outer thigh and glute area on that left leg so every time you inhale, think about somebody pulling your spine long, pushing you back into your hips, extending away through the crown of your head, and falling forward onto that left thigh. And breathing, breathing, breathing. Every time you exhale, fold forward. So just a little modified pigeon. One more breath. And then come back up to a seated position. Take your right leg and cross it over your left as tight as you can. So maybe you're right here, maybe you extend your left leg out straight. Maybe you can get your knees stacked on top of each other. So cow face pose is what this is. You're gonna sit up as tall as possible and then twist yourself to the right. So push down into the mat with your hips, rise up through your spine, feel that nice twist at the waist. Looking back behind you if you can. And then slowly come back to center. So now your right knee is bent in the front. Your left knee is going to bend out to the left. You're going to sit up nice and tall again, and then you're going to come on forward. So again, pushing your hips back, extending up through the crown of your head, trying to square your shoulders to the front. So feeling it in your hip. Your outer thigh, I feel this in the right uh, mid back as well. And again, you should never ever be in physical pain. You can be slightly uncomfortable, but never pain. So if something causes you pain, please back out a little bit. If you feel like you can come a little bit further, you just do so with your breath. Your breath is an amazing thing. It can help you go deeper into stretches. It can help calm you down. When you're nervous or anxious, you just take those deep calming breaths. slowly come back up to center you're gonna wrap that left leg around your right and again maybe you're here this is fine maybe you straighten your right leg 
If you can, you wrap it all the way around as tight as you can. You sit up tall and then you twist. So one side, you might not be able to twist as much as the other. Perfectly fine. It's just that later this evening, as you're just sitting around watching Netflix, if this is the side that's tighter for you, just try to do this a couple of times. Work on those imbalances. Or maybe just spending a little bit more time here when I move on. Maybe you spend more time in a pose if you feel like you need to. Nobody gets graded. So you feel free to do whatever you need to today. One more breath. Then you're just going to come back on uh, to center, but onto your hands and knees. So your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And we're just going to do a little cat and cow. So your hips go up, your belly button goes down, your chin goes up. And then you reverse that into cat by pulling your belly button way into your spine, pulling those shoulder blades apart and then reverse it into seated or uh, into cow and then into cat. And then just on your own breath, inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. Really pushing down into all those points on your fingers and your hands and your shins, not your knees, not necessarily the tops of your feet, but think about pressing into your shins. All right, neutral spine. So not cat, not cow, somewhere in between. Take your left leg and reach it back, press through that heel. Extend out through the crown of your head without lifting your chin. And then take your right leg and shoot it straight back so that you're in plank. Then lower your left knee down and extend through that right heel. So really getting a nice stretch through your calf. Take three or four more deep, deep breaths. And then let's push yourself up into down dog. So hips go high, heels go down, chin to your chest, looking through those legs. Big deep breaths. One more breath. And let's bring your right foot forward, so uh, in between your two hands. And let's find lunge pose. So you can put your left knee down if you'd like, or you can come right into crescent lunge with your knee up. So knee down on the ground or off, right knee bent over your right ankle, arms come out to the side, up overhead, on your thigh, if you want to work on the shoulders and opening up your chest, you can interlace your fingers behind you. You can be in reverse prayer behind you, so instead of prayer in front, you can be 
reverse prayer behind. Sinking down into the hips and then forward a little bit with that left hip. Breathe. One more breath. You're going to fold forward at your hip, your left hand down. Your right foot is going to inch over at least one foot width, and you're going to twist open to the right. So your knee can go back down on the ground if you'd like, or it can stay up. You decide. Twist at the waist, so push down into that left hand, reach up with your right. Breathe. All right, start coming back down with that right hand. Scooch your right foot back in that one foot width and bring yourself back up into crescent lunge. So everybody up off your knee and then straighten both legs. So you might need to step that back foot forward a little bit. So all four points of each foot firmly on the floor. We're gonna find pyramid. So folding at your hip, you're just gonna fold forward. Halfway, halfway. You're gonna feel it right about here in your hamstring, right at the connection of your hamstring to your glutes. You're gonna try to square up your, your hips to the front. And you're breathing. So you're gonna feel a calf stretch in the back leg, hamstring in the front. You're gonna see about reaching your arms out in front of you. It's nice core work, keeping your upper body up. If you need to hold on, to your legs if you want to fold now forward deepening that hamstring stretch so your hands either go on your leg they go on the floor you can soften your front knee if you need to you tuck your chin and look back at that left knee Breathe. Then bend that right knee over your ankle. Ground that back heel down and come into warrior two. So arms go out. Shoulders are now right over your left hip. Shoulders are right over both hips, so right hip over your left hip. Right shoulder over your right hip. Left shoulder over your left hip. How about that? Right knee over your right ankle. And breathe. So open up the hips, relax the shoulders. One more breath. Bring both hands down to the front and find down dog. So just do a little walking the dog. All right, now it's your left leg. It's gonna come forward. Finding your lunge. Your right knee can be down if you want or leave it up. Bring your upper body up. Back heel is off the mat, arms wherever. Up, out, holding on. Prayer front, prayer behind. You can hold on to your elbows. 
Find something to stare at in front of you or a little bit above your gaze or above your eyesight, eye line, and just breathe. Two more breaths. Then we're going to add that twist if you want. So your right hand comes down, your left leg goes out a little bit. You can drop your right knee if you'd like. You twist to your left, left arm reaches up. Looking down or up. Don't put any extra tension in your neck by looking up. But if you want to add the extra balance challenge by looking up, feel free. But if it causes you extra strain in the neck, it's not worth it. Two or three more breaths. Start bringing that left hand down. Move your foot back in line, your left one back. Bring your right knee off the ground a little bit if your was off. Come back up to your lunge and then straighten both legs so that back heel is down. So working on your balance, fold at your hip halfway down. Working on your core strength to keep your upper body up. So your legs might be super wide. So if you need to step them in a little bit, feel free. Hold on if you need to, arms out at the side, forward. They could be back behind you. Reverse prayer is an option. Softening that knee is an option in the front as well. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, you just add a forward fold. Breathe. Tucking your chin, gazes back at that right knee. Your front knee is straight. Mine is pretty bent because this left knee doesn't really like to be that straight, doesn't really like to bend, doesn't really like to do anything. But you should be feeling it hamstrings, the front leg, calf in the back, lengthening your spine. Then you're gonna ground your back heel and come on up, bending your front knee and find warrior two. Make any adjustments with your feet, you got time. Both shoulders over your hips. Gaze over your left middle finger. And breathe. One more breath. Wherever you're at, just bring your arms straight up, straighten both legs, turn your toes to what is now gonna be the front, which is probably the long end of your mat. And when you exhale, I want you to just fold forward, wide leg forward fold. So, as most of you know, I'm not a big fan of forward folding, but when your legs are wide, I like it better because it doesn't put a lot of pressure on your low back here. So you can widen your feet a little bit. You can start to lower down 
a little bit more. The wider your feet are, the less space there is from your head to the floor. You are trying at some point to get the crown of your head to the floor. If you can't, perfectly normal. Maybe just your hands. Maybe you work on getting your forearms. You want to tuck your chin and maybe tip forward just a little. And then if you are extremely careful, you can interlace your fingers back behind you, but you need to be slow and careful so that this doesn't tip you over. But it's a good shoulder stretch, but it will definitely increase the stretch in your hamstrings. One more breath. Slowly start to make your way back to what was really the front of your mat. So you're just going to walk your hands forward, take your front foot and take it back into down dog. And from down dog right away, just put your knees down and come down onto your back side. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and you're just going to rock your knees side to side. So arms wherever, overhead, at the side. Come back to center. Let's cross your left leg over your right. Bring your left hand down at your left thigh and push that leg away. And if that feels good, stay right there. Um, most of you have done all these poses at the wall. So if you want to go to a wall and do them there, perfectly fine. I don't mind. I can't see you anyways. I have no idea what you're doing. So if you want to go to a wall, feel free. I'm just going to stay right here because I'm too lazy to move myself over there. Um, if you can, you're going to lift that right foot off the floor. You're going to hold behind your hamstrings. And we're going to stretch that glute area. You're going to try to get your lower left leg parallel to the floor. If you're on that wall, your right leg is either extended or it's slightly bent. Hips are nice and tucked into that wall. Try to get those knees in line with your shoulders. Tighten up that cross and drop your knees over to the right. So arms go out to the side. So it's a bigger twist than we did before. If this feels like too much, please uncross your legs. Or even just let your thighs fall back towards the bottom of your mat. Let's come back to center and let's do the same thing on the other side. So cross your right leg over, line up your knees and your shoulders and try to get that lower 
right leg parallel to the floor. So feeling that right outer thigh glute area and breathe. Your spine and your back be nice and heavy on your mat. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Tighten that cross up when you're ready and drop your knees over to the left. So twist at the waist, feel it in your glutes, feel it down that IT band. And breathe big, deep breaths. Don't lose your focus yet. One more breath. Slowly come back to center. Give yourself a little hug. Let's find happy baby. Flex your feet. Grab onto your toes, your big toes, or just behind your hamstrings. Your knees go out and down. So you're actually pushing your knees down and thinking about them being pulled away from the midline of your body. You can rock side to side in happy baby, or you can just stay still. We're not going to call it dead bug anymore. We'll call it sleeping bug. I like happy baby better. And then let's come back to center. Let's put your right foot down, your left leg up. So the strap or towel around your foot. We've already done a pretty good hamstring stretch with that pyramid pose. We'll do a little bit more here because most people like the hamstring stretch. Most of our hamstrings are tight with all the other stuff we do around our daily lives. Let's straighten your right leg if it isn't already, unless you're at the wall. And then see about just letting that leg drop out to the left. So if you're at the wall, maybe you're going to just let both legs drop out. Make sure you're inhaling completely, exhaling completely. Let's switch sides. So right leg is going to go up, left leg extends. Big deep breaths, right hip down, right heel up, feel that nice stretch in your calf and your hamstring.
let's let that leg just drop open to the right. Keeping that leg flexed. Keeping those breaths deep. Okay, one more breath. Come on back to center. Take that strap or towel to the side. Give yourself a big hug. Extend both legs away from you or up the wall. Let your toes fall away from you. Let your hands be at your side. We'll just lay as quiet and as still as you can for just three or four minutes. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. Put your towel or eye pillow over your eyes and just breathe. Trying to stay focused on your breath as still as you can be. Just breathing. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Just slowly, gently waking yourself back up.
You can stretch your arms up overhead and give yourself a big full body stretch. You can give yourself a big hug. You can rock side to side with those knees. You can find a side that feels good and hang out there. And then just slowly, with the least amount of energy possible, bring yourself up to a seated position. And we'll all just take those three breaths together. So wherever you're at, palms up. Let's inhale up. And a big ah as you exhale. Again, inhale. Ah. One more time, inhale. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. Namaste. Have a fabulous rest of your weekend. See you guys Monday morning at 930 for some power yoga. And if you'd like anything else, just let me know. Um, hopefully we'll be going back to regular life at some time uh, soon. But I think we'll have at least a two-week notice before um, we get back to uh, MVP at least. So um, at least we have two more weeks of doing what we're doing. So let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see. And I'll see you on Monday. Keep up the good work. I'm very proud of all of us. See you guys later. Bye.